what's up everyone? It's your girl Lisa and welcome back to my world and in today's video we're going to do a big shop miss a haul. So I stocked up and I've literally never purchased from this brand before. Never like once. I always wanted to and I was like finally I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna buy it. So I purchased a whole bunch of beauty stuff, makeup stuff, hair stuff, just random things. I wanted to see how it is, how the quality is and all of that stuff. Before we get on with the video, if you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Lisa and I do beauty lifestyle videos here on YouTube and something really unique about me and my channel is that I use my science background in some of my videos to help you make more informed decisions. If you like that kind of stuff, if you like beauty and makeup videos, if you like hauls, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel as well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos from me. Let's just get right on with the video. Let's unbox this big bag of goodies. If you're interested in seeing what I got from shopmissa.com, then keep watching. So first of all, I like the little bag it comes in. It's such a cute little color. And on the bag it says, it's here, feel good. And also look how cool everything is packaged. Everything's in like this really chubby bubble wrap. So like nothing gets damaged or broken, but that's super cool. I've actually never seen anything packed like this before. My plan is, spoiler alert, to do a full makeup look using just Shop Miss A products. So I may not do a lot of swatches in today's video, but I'll be testing majority of these products on my face in the next video that I do. So be on the lookout for that. Today, I just strictly want to show you everything that I get. So like I said, I got a lot of makeup makeup products, so be warned, there will be a lot of makeup in this video. First thing in the bag are these lashes. So I got two pairs and their lashes are always sold out. Like the ones that I wanted to get are sold out every time. I happened to find two of the mink lashes because I heard that these are the best ones. So I wanted to get the best ones. And plus I like the faux mink lashes more than the like plasticky, not so good ones. So this one here is in the shade Jessica. Those are very beautiful. And then this one here is in the shade Jean. And this one here is a bit more fuller than this guy. So there they are side by side. Next here is a Blur Perfection Face Primer. It's just like a small little compact, not even like the size of my palm. She's kind of small and is she, okay. She's like super glossy, which is weird. It feels like a gloss. It doesn't feel like a primer. You can see that it's a little bit more pore refined there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can. The next product is this honey gloss. And this is just really nostalgic to me. It reminded me of like the 90s lip glosses. So I wanted to give them a try. This one is in the flavor. What flavor did I get her in? Let's just open it up and smell it. Strawberry, it says strawberry on the back. And this is a honey lip oil, not a gloss. So I wouldn't recommend putting this on top of lipsticks because most likely the oil will break down your lipstick and that will not be good. Honestly though, when I'm trying to rub this on my hand, nothing's coming off. Like the roller ball doesn't go. Maybe you need to like warm it up. But again, it's an oil which you think would move the ball, but the ball isn't moving. I can't even see what the product is inside because this ball won't move. Next is in this little bag here. We got a highlight and this is the color of the highlight. It is in the shade Sunstone. Okay, so she's super like pressed. That's what I noticed right away. Look at that payoff on my finger, just swatching it. It's actually really, really nice, like a gold. So turns out I bought two of these glossy transparent Blur Perfection face primers, so that's great. We got a concealer. This is the AOA concealer. It says corrects imperfections and dark circles and parts of the proceeds go to animals in need. Yay. Apparently it's super creamy, long wearing and non drying. I didn't know what shade to get. So I just got this one here. This is in the shade porcelain. I think it's one of the lightest ones that they got. Cause it was like under eye concealer. I can make it work. Next items in here is a foundation. This is the pro wear foundation. It's supposed to be super full coverage. And I got it in the shade buff. The shade terrifies me because I am not that shade. So this is gonna be fantastic. So this is what I have to go for for my base products and literally look at my face compared to them right now. And these are supposed to be medium shades, medium. I got a lip pencil. This is in the shade natural. So like a nude lip liner. We'll give her a quick little swatch. So she's just a basic pencil liner and that is the color natural that I got. So she seems pretty good and she went on really nice and creamy. I also pulled out this lipstick. This is the Malibu Glitz Essential Matte Lipstick and it's wobbly when you turn it. Here's a little swatch. It's that pink shade. 
not horrible. Packaging is just like plastic kind of cheapo packaging. I wasn't expecting anything wild and exciting. And this is in the shade Cotton Candy. I will list everything that I got down below so you don't get confused. If you see something that you like and you want to get, I will put it down in the description bar below. We got a nude eye primer by the AOA Studios. It's supposed to control oil, not crease. Make your eyeshadows look more bright. That is what the component looks like. And let's just give her a little squirt. So it is super liquidy and that's what it looks like. And that was like literally a drop. Looks like this product will go a long way. Next up, I got another AOA Studio product. This is called the Whipped Mascara, but I got it in the green color because I was feeling wild and adventurous. Like a dollar of mascara, I can give green a try. So let's see what the brush looks like. It's just a standard brush, but the green looks super beautiful, kind of like an army hunter green. Maybe I'll do like a little swatch here so you can see the color. There you go. So I think that will be really fun to use. I don't know. I was feeling adventurous when I bought <laughs> this stuff. So a green mascara. Another mascara. This one here is the Fat Lash. And this is just a black mascara. It's a plastic wand. It's very different than that green mascara one. Yeah, I wonder if she's super black. And yeah, she's pretty black. This is again by AOH Studios and it is the Fat Lash. So it'll be interesting to see if my lashes actually do get fat. I bought a whole bunch of brushes because if I'm doing a full face, I'm gonna do brushes too. So they come in this little case and it has like the AOA Studio branding on it. And this is like an actual pretty high luxury case. Like I'm impressed so far. And inside it's supposed to have face and eye brushes. So this is what you get. I believe there's 10 brushes. Yep. So five face brushes and five eye brushes. And on first impressions, they actually feel quite nice. They're not like a heavy brush, but they're nice handles on them and they feel like good in the hands. Excited to give them a try. They're super soft. And these are the five eye brushes that we got in them. So like a kind of pointy pencil guy, a slanted guy, another slanted guy, a fluffer brush, and like a flat, small little stippler brush. I also believe that this set was like $15. And then for the face brushes, we have like a big buffer brush here. And then this one's a brush that I actually don't even have in my collection. So it'll be kind of fun to like maybe blend out concealer with it. And this one here, so like a pointed brush. We also got a more angled buffer brush. And then we got two kind of stippling buffer brushes. One's flat right here and another stipple buffer brush right there, a bit more slanted on the end. The set looks super promising and the brushes are super fluffy and I'm excited to give them a try and hopefully they work out. I also got a beauty blender. This is called the Silly Dip Wonder Blender. It's silicone infused and it has, whoa, okay, so, okay, weird. This feels so strange. This tip part is has like a silicone layer on it and then this side is just like a typical spongy feel. And what is the function of this? It's designed to absorb less makeup and germs while still being super soft. It can apply wet and dry makeup flawlessly. Hmm. This whole silicone part is supposed to prevent you from using so much product because it's silicone, therefore it won't absorb into the sponge. I had no idea I even had silicone on the top of it. These are super exciting. This is what I was actually most excited for because they're mixing palettes. You can put your foundation on this guy, mix it all up and get your unique shade, everything that you need. And it was like stainless steel. It's actually pretty high quality. And it has a little hole for your hands. You can just rest your hand in and just apply like makeup artist style. And it comes with this cute little spatula as well with a kind of squared edge and then a round edge on the side for mixing all that you need to mix. I also got a liquid eyeliner. It's in black. It's a fine tip marker like this, which I love. And for swatch, there she is. She's pretty black and she dries pretty fast. So I'm pretty impressed with her already. And hopefully she stays on for a long period of time. So we're gonna let her dry and we'll see how she stays while we do the rest of the items. Next up, I got two face palettes. This one in like a hot pink bronze moment and this one in a corally bronze moment. In these palettes, they have one bronzer, two blushes and a highlight. So there is that color story right there. And same with this palette, a highlighter, two blushes and a bronzer right there. And this is more of a corally kind of color story. 
So these looked super intriguing and super beautiful. So I'm super excited to try this. This hot pink color is calling my name. I also purchased a skinny mascara. So I'm sorry that this is everywhere. Like we're going from face to mascara. I'm literally just pulling out things as I get them. And this is supposed to be perfect for your lower lash line. So look how tiny that little brush is. And he's supposed to just get all of the lower lashes. So let's see how black you are. Oh, she's pretty black and creamy. So it'll be interesting to see if it actually does anything to my lashes, but she looks pretty black and she looks pretty good. And this eyeliner is also looking pretty good already. Like she's on there. I'm rubbing it and she's not coming off. Next, I got a palette and it's this one here. It's the Nine Palette Shimmer Palette by Santi. It is in the color story Midnight Queen. And I really just loved that purple shades right here. And the funny thing is it says it's a nine shimmer palette, but this one's actually matte, but all the rest are shimmers. So it'll be super fun to use. I love having mattes in a palette, so that's a win. But just give her a little swatch and see what she looks like. They're not the best quality, but we can build it. We, we can do something with this. So that's that brown matte shade and you know, I gotta go in this purple. So I'm gonna go in with this light purple first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, this is beautiful. Look at that. Love that purple. And let's give this dark one a go-to. Wow, look at that. So these are shimmer. Keep in mind, they are not matte and they are going on shimmery. So look at those. Let's try this black. Let's see what the black looks like. It's like a smoky gray color. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we can do a pretty wild smoky eye look here, guys. That smoky black color right there. That's what she's looking like. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this little dollar palette. Okay, wait, I did it again. I bought two of the same thing. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to put away a giveaway for you guys. Fingers crossed that these are good. So I don't know why that there's like little shadows on the outside. This is just says date night on it and it's, oh, <laughs> it's a magnetic palette. So I'm assuming all of these pressed shadows will go into there. So there's nine pressed shadows and I have to depot them myself. So they're all individually wrapped like this. And let's just open one here together and then I'll depot the rest off camera. So they look like this and they just pop right into here like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the palette and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I put all these shadows into the pot and that is what the color story looks like. If I recall correctly, I believe this palette was a bit more expensive. I'll check the price and put it down here. I really wanna swatch this blue guy, so let's give her a go. And uh, she's beautiful. They're all like super soft and like very nice. So that's the blue color. And oh yes, I forgot to mention that there is five matte shades and then four shimmer shades. So let's give this matte black a go because black can be hard to do. So that is the black, honestly, not horrible for a cheaper and black. I've seen worse. I'm actually pretty impressed with these shadows. Like here is the side by side comparison. So the color stories are actually quite similar, purples, blues, and oranges, but I wanted to get something kind of similar so I can compare them because one is a little bit more pricier than the other. And this one only had one matte, which I thought had zero mattes because it was a shimmer palette. So it's gonna be awesome to do one big cohesive look. So I'm super excited about that and it should be super fun to play with these guys. I cannot wait. We still have more, we still have more. So I have two of the loose setting powders. I got it in the banana shade and translucent shade. It is just a sieve right there and you pour the product out on the cap. And I'm assuming the transparent one is the exact same. I never actually had a banana powder, so I wanted to give this a try to brighten up the under eyes. Next, I purchased two lip liners, and this is actually by a brand I knew. LA Colors is sold on shopmissa.com. So I got a pink one in like a brownie nude color. I know that this brand isn't high end. I've seen it at like the Dollar Tree and whatnot, but I was like, for a dollar, we'll give them a try. So they're just like a retractable liner, and I'm gonna open up this other shade too. She's in the shade Nude. I really like nude liners, and this doesn't look like a nude. It looks like more of like a caramelly color. So there is a nude and pinky in the LA Color Retractable Auto Lip Liners. I got a contour stick. This is the AOA Sculpt FS Contour Stick. Let's see if she's a match. Okay, she's super dark. 
This was the only color left, so I bought it, but she may be a struggle <laughs> to blend out. I just wanna see what she looks like when we blend her out to see how bad the situation may be. So that's what we're dealing with. I think it's gonna go absolutely horrible. I got these no crease hair clips because I seen them all over Amazon. These guys right here and all of like everybody using them because they don't crease your hair when you do your makeup, but they look like they'll work. I just got the plain black. They had other colors too. And then you just pin your hair back like that, do your makeup and they're like holding on pretty good. Like shake them up a bit. Pretty good, so you get three for one dollar. A few more products to go, guys, and I got a face mask applicator. Especially with my Lush face masks, I need to use something like this. And I think they had a green color as well. I just got the pink. Four dollar, sold. Guys, I found a brow product and I was super excited about it and I hope that it's my shade because you know when it comes to brows, I am a complete maniac. We're gonna give it a swatcheroo here. She might be a little light for me. There is the swatch just so you can see the color, but there is like how fine the pencil is. It's a super fine tip pen that allows you to get very precise hair like strokes. And the pencil is quite hard. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes in my brows. So I am extremely excited for her. You know me and my brow products I love. Next, I got another primer by the AOH Studio brand. It's called the Clean Slate primer. It just claims to be a lightweight primer that just feels good on your skin and helps your makeup last longer. It doesn't have any pore filling effects or anything like that, but I saw hydrating primer and I have dry skin. So I was like, let's give her a try. Again, by the AOH Studio, I got a lip gloss. It's called a Lip Pop. This is in the color City Girl. It's a nude gloss right there. I low-key want to give it a try right now. I will just use my palette as a mirror to give this a try. But it's nice, feels comfy on the lips. I really, really like this shade. So that is the lip pop on the shade right here in City Girl. How do we like it? I think it's really pretty. I really, really like this. I got another lip product. This is an LA Girls Matte Liquid Lipstick and I needed to try it. This wrapper is guys, I swear. I never wanna take off these like wrappers ever again. And they like stick to you, it's just the worst. So this is what she looks like, she's kind of chubby. And there's a little applicator right there. Let's see what you look like. Whoa, okay, it's super creamy, wow. So the applicator is like super long, but that's the color right there and it's absolutely beautiful. It has like a very whipped texture. Shade name, what shade are you? Ma'am, what shade are you? Do we not put shade names on? Oh, it's in the shade Angel Kisses. Next, I got a blush here. This is just like a solo pan, same size as that primer that we tried on at the beginning. And it's in this beautiful kind of pink dusty rose shade. It's in the shade Euphoria. I'm thinking about adding this with that palette for a giveaway. So I'm just gonna leave it in the package. These had really high ratings. That's why I picked it up. And on the website, it said it was like, uh, like uh, customer choice or something like that, like customer favorite. So I wanted to pick one of these guys up. As well, I got this little cheek duo. It reminded me of like the Laguna, the NARS duo one or the e.l.f. duo one. And it comes with a blush and like a contour shade. I would say both of these are like a blush in my opinion. And I'm just getting like e.l.f.'s NARS vibes. I feel like all the makeup is like inspired by something else here. Lastly, I got this guy here. It is the coconut lip mask. Now, you know me and my lip masks. I need them, I need them and need them. This is just says it has vitamin E for smooth lips an intense hydration to be used as an overnight treatment or as a regular lip balm. And I wanna smell it because I hope that it smells like coconut. And it does smell like coconut. So it just has like a standard applicator like this and we put it on, wow, it's like a white cream and it like oozes out. I wasn't expecting that. She smells really good guys, like coconut -y. I put on so much, oh my God, this is disgusting. It's like a thick, sticky texture. It smells like coconut, but you can tell it's like not natural coconut, it's artificial coconut. But it still smells good, like there's a hint of vanilla in it. I'm gonna put this next to my bed tonight and give it a try and keep you guys updated and see if I like it. If I can get intense hydration and no chapped lips for a dollar, sign me up, sign me up. 
So that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item is from the Shop Miss A that I purchased today. What product would you see yourself wearing? Which one are you most hopeful for? How do you feel about the shadows and the palettes? Let me know in the comments down below and let's get to chatting. Before you head out, don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya.